everyone welcome back for more exo zeros content today's video we're going to discuss who is better is it going to be yuri or awakened zeon but before that if you want updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below hey guys so let's take a look at their stats first to so the tail of the tape so both of them are um good attack characters but um, Awaken Zeon is of Chaos class. So we start off with the tail of the tape. So their HP, um, Yuri has average HP, which um, takes him higher than Awaken Zeon for attack. Um, Zeon has the higher attack. He is high versus above average for Yuri. Okay. And for defense, um, Yuri has below average defense versus low for a weekend zeon for hit they have the same stat for dodge it's a weekend zeon because he is of chaos class for crit hit it's the same at low for block it's also the same at low and take note for attack speed both of them have high but awaken zeon is slightly higher than him with 114 just in case they go head to head okay so both of them would actually function as an attacker or, or as a assassin so let's take a look what they bring to the table versus their skills okay just a disclaimer first my comparison for both of them is basically not one-on-one -on -one. um if um they're they're actually in their own teams um which of them will really shine versus their own team as an assassin role okay because um, i'm going to consider um the passives and the generals that they're going to be with because for you to maximize both they have to have the, or they have to be with their generals okay so we'll be starting with yuri so with his passive so he has counter three counters upon taking damage Gains mana if the target dies. Gains mana if the health of target is 70% or more. Okay. His next passive is actually his uh, new passive, which is Resurrect. If under the effect of command, revives 50% of health upon own death two times per battle. So basically, we're going to assume that Garf is with him and command is activated. Um, also with Awaken Zeon later, we have to assume that um, we have to assume that Schmidt is with him as well. So for Resurrect, this is actually a new um, a new built-in uh, revive type of mechanic, and it's times two per battle, and it revives fifty percent of health. So if we bring him in PVE, he can actually if there are three waves, he can actually revive six times. Okay, so this is actually game-changing as well. But for his second passive, which is Loner, Mark, if there are no living allies other than self, increases own attack, defense, health by 50%, cannot activate when there are no allies in team. So you cannot just you know, bring him, just, just him alone. Um, his team members have to die for this to activate. So I don't like this because by the time that you're you're the only one left you're usually outnumbered by the enemy team so this for me is not really it's it's it doesn't it doesn't really i think for me makes sense and you won't be able to maximize this once this activates but for resurrect i would give yuri an advantage in terms of survivability versus awaken zeon now we go to his um s1 which is divine wolf it's a required mana by two so single deals 375 percent damage to one enemy increases on attack by 30 percent upon defeating the target okay nice damage very good um probably squishy to medium players are would would be the target of this one and uh, his s2 which is savage wolf fury required five mana it's a burst skill okay deals three three five seven percent damage to all enemies okay take note of this this is this one is actually a burst kill let's compare this with what awaken zeon has okay so now we're here with awaken zeon again um for his s2 i'll start with the s2 because the this is where the 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 comparison starts actually um they have the same damage which is damage to all enemies 
Required mana is the same, but this skill doesn't have burst. So actually, again, advantage to advantage to um, Yuri for S2. Passive, I I think I give it to Yuri because of uh, because it gives him more survivability. So for his S1, so deals 75 a uh, 750 percent damage to one enemy. For this one, I would give this to Awaken Zeon because a, a S1 750% damage to one enemy is actually big as long as he has Iris in the team as well for this one. And for his passive, so finishing blow 3 attacks if an enemy takes damage and its health drops to 10% or less. So kind of a counter mechanic but um, the others has to be attacked. Okay, and his passive should um, have um, Schmidt in the team. Student becomes the master. Mark increases on attack by 20% when effect by master's footsteps every time the turn resets. Can be stacked up to four times. So it says here that can be stacked. So 20% max is about 80%. And actually, this going this this spell will benefit. Uh, what do you call this? Will benefit uh, Schmidt's turn reset. Again, if you weigh both of them um, with their respective generals and you weigh um, in terms of offense, offense, it actually goes to Awaken Zeon for his passive. Yuri, again, his passive is more defensive. S2 goes to um, Yuri and S1 goes to Awaken Zeon. So basically, from, from what I see, they have, um, they're kind of similar in, 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 in utility. You just have to pick who you want to, you know, to, or, or you just have to design your team on how it's going to attack. Or actually, it would, um, bringing one of them would actually determine your general as well. So if you have Wasted Red already, I suggest you go with Yuri. If you're building up Schmidt because his FC is, is, is coming, you also build up Awaken Zeon. I'm sure um, most probably Awaken Zeon will have his, what do you call this? Will have his, um, will have his Fate Core soon because Schmidt will have his already coming. Um, as far as, as far as um, both of them is concerned, um, in terms of who actually is better I say again if you're going for a defensive minded defensive oriented assassin which is high damage you go for Yuri if you want to go for a offensive oriented assassin in which uh, his passive favors attack or on the offensive you go with Awaken Zeon so actually that is my assessment of them you can't go wrong with with the both of them um in terms of in terms of awaken zeon just have to keep him alive uh because he doesn't have the the revive which yuri has but i think that can be augmented because i think when you have awaken zeon in your team it's like the new you know the new nation right now, Lenombre, which is fast. I think that's the theme as well. That sorry, that's the theme as well for um, for Schmidt and Vagabond because they can actually go fast and they have turn resets as well. So anyway, um, I hope I hope this was very informative in terms of the comparison between Yuri and Awaken Zion. Also, if you have some comments and suggestions, please write them down below. Anyway, guys, this is going to be it for me. Stay tuned for another video of XO Zeros. Y'all stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out.